Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today you might notice that I'm in a hangar without anything in it. Uh, what we're actually going to be doing today is we're going to build a one cylinder engine uh, and we're going to try and make, I don't know, some sort of go-kart or something like that uh, and we'll see if we can make it drive. So let's go ahead and start building it and uh, we'll see what we can do. Hey! Okay, so on this vehicle, what we're going to do is we're going to start building a one-cylinder engine. Now, this thing is probably quite easy to do, uh, but at the same time, I imagine that it might be a little bit difficult because this is like the, the second or third uh, engine I've actually built, and um, yeah, it might be kind of insane. But because we're only doing one cylinder, it might be okay. So, this right here is a crankshaft. You need one of these. Uh, you actually also need a clutch, so we're going to go ahead and put that on the back. And you also need a... where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's this thing. Um, what is it called? It's called a modular engine drive belt. So you're gonna go ahead and put that on the front. There we go. That's essentially our our main bit of our motor. Now we need a cylinder, which is one of these, and that'll go on the tippity top, and that is fine. We're gonna get the things that attach to this starter first though, uh, which is a starter, actually. So let's go ahead and slap a starter on there. Very nice. Uh, we also need to slap a fluid uh, po pipe thingamabobby on it. Uh, that's for cooling. All right, that's okay. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Uh, it will need air. It will also need uh, an alternator. Uh, so let's go ahead and get an alternator. If we can find, find one. Where is it? Alternator. There we go. Uh, and there we go. So starter, that actually starts the motor. Alternator, that charges your battery. It's a generator. Uh, and this pump is actually for pumping fluid, which is, um, coolant. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so there we go. So this is essentially what we've got so far, uh, which is actually fine. That's okay. Uh, but what we need to do now is we need cooling for this thing. We need exhausts coming out of this thing. Uh, we need air going into it, and we also need fuel going into it. Now, one thing that I haven't actually tried is this. All right, I don't know whether this will help, but essentially what I want to do is I want to put that there. Right, that's going to allow me to put a uh, fuel thing. Hold on, where is it? <laughs> where is it? I get a bit lost in here, I'm not going to lie. Uh, a fuel thing, which is not this one. This is air. Let's go and put this on, actually. There we go. Air supply. Very good. Uh, we're going to put the fuel supply on the other side, if I can find it. It's somewhere in here. It's definitely somewhere in here. There it is. Uh, we're going to put the fuel one on this side. There we go. Very good. And that is fine. So, air, fuel... Uh, exhaust needs to come out somewhere. In fact, I might turn this engine around, and that'd be kind of cool. That could actually be really good, uh, which is fine. We need coolant to go in here as well, so let's go ahead and slap on one of these. This is a cooling manifold. There we go, go ahead and put that there. And exhaust needs to come out of this thing as well. So if we could do the exhaust, that would be awesome. Here we go. Bosh! Alright, that's exhaust. Easy. Uh, so the exhaust is going to go on a pipe, straight away. Boop! There we go. Uh, the air supply is going to be in a fluid meter, uh, fluid pot, sorry, there we go. Uh, the fuel itself is going to be in a fluid uh, tank, like this one. There we go, like that. Uh, because we don't need very much fuel to actually run one of these, so that's fine. Uh, and then the exhaust, sorry, the um, coolant is going to be fine. So you just use pipes, uh, and essentially you just go ahead and attach this onto there. Then downwards, uh, you keep it going down, that's fine. Uh, we want to do the same thing on this one as well, if I can. So one there, one there, uh, downwards from here, and that'll be fine. All right, awesome. Give me that. Give me that. Make it go sideways. Very good. Put it in there. Very nice. This one could go up, and this one could go down. Although, actually, I'm thinking if we delete these, we might be able to get ourselves a heat. What are they called? I need one of these. It's essentially a radiator. There we go. If I can slap that on there properly... That'd be amazing. Here we go. Whack that in there. Go ahead and put this on the side. Which is kind of interesting to begin with, but we'll leave it for now. This is like my first engine, so... Uh, b yeah. <laughs> um, just leave me alone, okay? Uh, so, what have we got? We've got our heat. Alright, very good. Uh, that's attached onto there. That'll go through there, back into the pump. Very good. Uh, we actually need a fluid tank for that as well. So, if I can delete this... Uh, somewhere like there. All right, very good. Get ourselves a pipe. 
and we put something in, let's say, like this. Oh, no. Uh, like this? I don't know how this works. All right, like that. Grab ourselves a tank. Go ahead and smack it on here like so. Boop. Uh, make it water. There we go. Make it kind of empty because we don't need much water to be flowing around. So that's okay. Uh, and that's pretty much our engine. Now, it is definitely possible to make it smaller than this. I am I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's definitely easy to make it smaller than this. Or it's possible, at least. So if you want to make it smaller than this, you go ahead and do so. Uh, but I am not going to. Do, 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 do. So let's go ahead and whack on something like this. This is essentially just a test bed for this engine, by the way. Uh, this isn't like, this is an amazing go-kart or anything. This is just a test. So there you go. Uh, engine could be showing, but I'm going to hide it. There we go. Just like so. Uh, we go ahead and put that there. And I guess we'll just seal it in. Yeah, that's fine. All right, good. So I guess I guess that's okay. It looks really strange, but it'll work. Uh, go ahead and put this across here. And we'll put a seat on it. And hopefully we'll be able to drive. Uh, so drive a seat. Go ahead and whack that in right there. Okay, interesting. Uh, we need actual wheels. There we go. We'll go with threes. There we go. Uh, the right way around, probably. There we go. And the back ones also. There, I guess. Yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> I'm sure that's fine. Okay, and we're actually going to attach these on the back too. There we go. Go ahead and put those there. And we'll put these on the sides too. So turn it around. Like so. And we'll just leave that there. Kind of like a beetle car. It actually looks a little bit like a hot rod. Kind of interesting. Okay, so we don't actually care what this thing looks like. Uh, we do need this to work, though. So essentially what I need to do is go inside here, and we need to attach this to the wheels. Yeah, we do. Um, sometimes you don't actually want to use this clutch. In this situation, though, I think I do. I think I do. Also, it's only going to be rear-wheel drive, which is uh, different, but um, totally works. All right, there we go. Smash that in there. Go ahead and put that there like so. All right, cool. Go ahead and put this here like so. And I think I'm actually just going to put a straight pipe in like this. There we go. All right, interesting. Very, very cool. Very cool. There we go. I really want this to work. I hope it does. So this is a water tank. That's okay. Let's delete the top so we can see the top of the cylinder, just in case we need to. Um, there are more things that we need to do here. We need a number. Uh, number. There we go. Uh, which is going to be one, which is interesting. <laughs> A number that's going to be one. Let me hide it somewhere in here. There we go. Only need it on one side. There we go. Uh, on this side, we need to get ourselves a function block. There we go. Uh, we're going to smash that in there. Like that. Oh, like that. Very good. This function block is going to be X divided by 2. Essentially, the reasoning for this is because you need twice as much air than you do need fuel. So this is going to go to the fuel manifold. Uh, and that's it. Right, cool. Uh, WNS is going to go to this. It's also... Actually, the clutch clutch is going to be on one. There we go. Uh, clutch is going to be on one. Yes. Fluid pump's always going to be on one. Uh, alternator's always going to be on one. And uh, air manifold is also always going to be on one. All right, that all makes sense to me. Uh, the steering on this it doesn't, so I'm going to change that. Okay, let's go ahead and put the steering in. So, let's go ahead and put the steering on A and D, I guess. There we go, A and D. Uh, steering on A and D, very good. That's awesome. Uh, we, of course, need a battery somewhere in this. So, let's just smack one of those on. If we could fit it in this little back section, that would be amazing. But there's no room. <laughs> there's no room back there. But there is room here. We can actually just put it there under the chair. All right, very good. So, attach everything to the power. Again, this isn't really a tutorial. This is just me building something and hoping it works. Um, which, I don't know, some of you guys won't like, but some of you guys might end up liking it. I don't know. Uh, very cool. So, that's all good. Let me make sure I've connected everything back here. So, we've got this going to the clutch. It's going to the throttle. It's going to the alternator and also the fluid pump. Um, that's all good to me. All right, very good. Uh, if I want to make this thing move... I'm actually going to attach this to, um, that should really go on the clutch, actually. There we go. So the clutch will go in when that happens, and that is fine. All right, very good. If I, yeah, 
All right, very good. We'll see how this works. Um, the starter obviously needs to go to one. There we go. Spot it in. Let's see what it looks like. All right, looks kind of interesting. It's really low at the back. Press one. All right, we're missing something here. We do be missing something. What are we missing? Exhaust isn't working. I don't know what's what not. Oh, I see why it wouldn't work. Uh, I usually think this is one automatically, but it's actually zero instantly. So uh, let me do that again, and we'll see if it works this time. I haven't changed a thing except from l labeling that number one. Sorry, not labeling it, but making it one. All right, here we go. So we should have air supply and everything else. We don't have anything else, though. What don't we have? The fuel ratio is all fine. Uh, I don't know what a stayo... I don't know what that is. Uh, but it should be working. Surely. Okay, so what I've actually done now is I've attached the... I've attached this, which is the function block, to the 1. So, uh, essentially it's going to do 0 0.5, which makes sense because the air is 1 and the fuel needs to be half of the air, which is fine. That's all A-OK. -okay. The problem is now that the engine isn't actually strong enough uh, to power this. So we need a gearbox, uh, and I'm actually gonna add two. They're gonna go here. They're both gonna point towards the engine. They're gonna be six to five, and they're gonna have power, obviously, because they need it. There we go. Uh, we're gonna see what happens here. Uh, also, I'm just gonna move it over to the, the test bench. There we go. All right, we're ready. Jump on, press one. Okay, the engine works. It just stalls out when I try to use it. So because it's a one cylinder, it struggles. It struggles a lot. Look at it. Look at it. It's struggling. It's a one cylinder engine. It just can't deal with it. It's shut off. There we go. So you see it revs like crazy and it's about to explode, but that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. If we get in the seat and we press W, it slowly wants to stall itself out. And I'm not sure why. Here we go. Turn ourselves to the side. It's definitely drivable, just not the best. So as long as I don't put the clutch all the way in, it actually drives. Kind of. It's not the best, though. It's a one-cylinder car. <laughs> it's really weird. All right, let's put a front on this thing and just call it a day. Okay, so how do I even want this to look? I don't know. I honestly have no idea how I want this to look, so we'll just go with something really random to begin with, and uh, we'll hope for the best. So, because it doesn't need a bonnet, because it doesn't have anything in it, let's just make it sort of like old-school racing style. Essentially, what they did was they just went like this, uh, and to be fair, the engines were in the front, but if we just fasten this together, uh, and we do it here as well, then there we go. We get ourselves a... Like an old school race car kind of thing. That's kind of cool. Um, we can actually put something in here as well. Like maybe just put some fluid pots in. Uh, and that'll look okay. There we go. Go ahead and smack them in like that. Very good. And there we go. All right. Very awful. Doesn't look very good. But that's okay. All right. Smack that together like that. We got ourselves a car. Cool. All right. So the last thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to slap this in here, which is actually a clamp. Uh, and we're going to go for max value being like 0.5. Uh, that's only going to allow me to push the clutch into 0.5. Uh, and to me, that makes sense. To me, that does make sense. So clutch. There we go. Go ahead and attach this to W and S. And that is it. All right. Cool. So now we should be able to just hold W and it'll work. Oh, does it still stall? See how its RPS spikes and then it dies? Really weird. There we go, boys. We've limited limited it to 0 0.3. And now we're driving. Now we're cruising. Look at us go. Hot diggity dog. We've built a one-cylinder engine car thing. It looks awful, but I built it. So interesting. This is like a really, really, really simple test bed for a one-cylinder engine car. And um, I guess it works. It just looks ugly. That's all. There we go, now we're balling. Look at us go, yeah, we've got the big wheels. We got the big chunky wheels, yeah. I love it, I mean, I don't love it, it looks awful, but still, it's kind of interesting that this even works. That's really cool though. All right, idea, let's go ahead and delete these. There we go, we can make it look a tiny bit better, I guess. Just go ahead and sl slap those on there. There we go, go ahead and slap these on here. Very good. 
Uh, on this side, we're just going to go ahead and put a brick right there. And we're going to put uh, some of these in. All right, there we go. Bosh that in right there. And once it's in, it should look a lot better. And that's kind of cool, actually. That's very cool. Go ahead and slap this on the bottom as well. So under tray. Uh, and we'll do a similar thing at the back, actually. Uh, if I can. Can I do that? There we go. Across the back. And across the bottom. There we go. Very nice. Yes, indeedy. That totally works. Okay, cool. Delete all of this as well. And we can actually put one of these in. Alright, it's starting to look a little bit like a boat. Which is weird. But, um, that totally works. Alright. Well, anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching me build this weird contraption. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the doors. And then once we've opened up the doors, I'll let it rip. Alright, we're gonna let this supercar go. Yes! Now, a one-cylinder engine should obviously not really be fast. Ever. But, uh, let's go. Yeah, this is amazing. This is actually so cool. It's a one-cylinder engine and it's pushing the vehicle around. That's awesome. Right, so this is it, max speed. Uh, we do have a bit of an issue, though. Um, we have a lot of an issue. Uh, the RPS is actually staying really high, uh, but we can go up mountains. <laughs> so there we go. Look at that. That is awesome. Right, well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. I don't know how to turn off the engine. I didn't put a kill switch in. But, um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Alright, so, I mean, this is extra content, I guess. The video finished, but now it's not finished. Uh, we're gonna add to this thing. I don't know whether we should... We need a reverse gear. Uh, that's a fact, actually. A reverse gear would be very nice. There we go. So, if we change these, we go into reverse. So, let's, uh, just attach this to button 2. And we should start reversing. Alright, awesome. So, that'll work. Um, fenders would be kind of interesting on this thing. Don't know how they would work. But, uh, it would be kind of interesting to see. So... Let's go ahead and add some fenders. There we go. Do that forwards. Uh, do it also backwards like this. And do it over the top. There we go. Very interesting. Awesome. Uh, and we'll have it go down. Um, twice, I think. So it'll go down like this. All right. Very nice. Go ahead and fill that in right there. And do it over the top. There we go. All right. Very cool. Very, very cool. It's kind of interesting. It looks really weird, but I mean, it'll work. Uh, then we're going to go down, obviously, down to there. All right, we're going to do a similar thing right here, up to there, up to there. Uh, we're going to then have it come backwards on this point, actually. There we go. It's going to come backwards here. This is so weird. This is so weird. Go ahead and put that in right there. And we'll have it go up here if we can. No, it actually has to go up here. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not what we wanted. That's not what we wanted at all. All right, there we go. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. There we go. Delete that. And we can actually have it go uh, up a bit, I guess. All right, we need to fill in this section. I don't know what's going on here, but if I can do this, drag it down to, to there. All right, fantastic. We can then fill this piece in. All right, put this piece in here like this. Okay, very interesting and weird. I I don't know what to say here. Uh, we're going to do a similar thing right here. Um, ooh. Oh, how do I put this in? So that goes there. Grab that section. Put it right here. Okay, drag it upwards. Oh, this is so weird. This is so very, very weird. Delete that. Okay, have it go sideways. Like so. Fill these all in together. And we're going to do this. Downwards, even more. Even more, there we go. Alright, and a little bit up. There we go. Alright, fantastic. And then, on the back, I guess I don't really want it to go down too much, but a little bit. So, we'll drag this down. Only like two. There we go, very nice. And we'll do this. Upwards. Like that. There we go. Very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Alright, awesome. Uh, and then, obviously we want a spoiler. So we're going to put a spoiler on it. All right, so yeah, as I was saying, we definitely, definitely need a spoiler on this thing. So let's go ahead and do this because, you know, this thing's just so fast that uh, obviously it needs a spoiler. So, um, yeah, let's just, let's just smack one on there. Yeah, let's just, let's just do it. There we go. I don't really know how this should look, but whatever, that's fine. Go ahead and push it out sideways like this. There we go. Uh, and I guess we'll just do something like, like that. There we go. Why not? 
Wow, spoiler! That's amazing! Wow, I don't even know if it'll move with all this extra weight. <laughs> I've added so- Oh, look at it, it's so cool! Alright, here we go. Yeah, we do still move, but I think we move slower. But that's okay, look at us go! <laughs> this is so slow. This is really bad. Alright, well, you know, there's one last thing that I want to do. I'm gonna paint it. Alright, so a lot of this is just gonna be red, to be honest. So let's just go ahead and make it all red to begin with. So, frantic red, bosh that on there. Awesome. Uh, this thing, the spoiler itself, is gonna be carbon fiber, which is, like, this color. Um, there we go. Good. Meow. Meow. There we go. Alright, good. All of this. Fantastic. Our wing is looking fan dabby dozy. That is looking hot. There we go. Good. Uh, the seat is gonna be black. Uh, the interior of this is gonna be, like, blacked up. There we go. Blacked out, I should say. <laughs> it doesn't sound right the other way. Alright, there we go. Very good. Uh, and that is nice. Alright, go ahead and paint that. Um, when I say this is nice, yes, the whole car itself is ugly. It is not nice, but, um, it's what we've got. It's what we were born with. So, um, that's what we're gonna keep. That's what we're gonna keep. We're gonna paint the whole underside this color. Uh, purely because, uh, we can. There we go. Good. All of the un underneath. Very nice. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and jug in most of this as well, so this is all the right colors. There we go in DD. Good. Yes. And then, realistically, we should do the rest of this as well, but I'm not gonna do those pieces. That's fine. Alright. Nice. Okay, do those. Is there anything else I'm missing that I'm not painting that I should be? Uh, I don't know. Probably this, but like, maybe we should make it a different color. Oh, wow, look at that! Oh! Wow, it looks like, um... It looks like something really bad. And it is! That's amazing! Alright, fantastic. Let's go ahead and do that there. Yeah! Alright, cool. I'm gonna leave this like this. This is the worst vehicle in the world, but we've built it. And, I wanna show you guys something actually kind of interesting about this. Oh wait, it's reverse actually works! That's insane! It's reverse works! That's cool. Um, so let's just say we go around the back of this. There's quite a steep hill, which I have tried vehicles on before, and they have failed. Uh, this monstrosity might be able to do it. And there it is! There's the steep hill right there. Uh, we're just not gonna slow down, we're just gonna ramp into it, and hopefully ramp up it, and be good. Here we go. Bosh! Alright, yes, we are only re rear wheel drive, but we're making it up a mountain. We're doing it. We can actually climb mountains in this thing. Wow. Oh, also, that isn't painted on this side, but it is on this side. That's weird. But we are making it to the top of a mountain. That's amazing. We got a little bit of wheel slip going on, but the front wheel is over on both sides, and we made it to the tippity top. That's crazy. We still do need a kill switch, though, because uh, otherwise it's just going to continuously do this, and that's not right. That's not right. All right, there we go. So I'm going to leave this here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.